Right, so we're over here at Todd's and doing a, uh, uh, it's a Brewer's Edge mash and boil. It's uh, it does everything. You, you put it in, it does your strike water. It'll mash your uh, uh, your grains down for you. Uh, it's got a, a cool little, uh, with all your temperatures there, you can set the temperatures and it'll hold the temperature. And uh, so what are we brewing? A Christmas beer? Um, what's it all got in it? Everything. Everything. He's got uh, he, anything out. He just picked everything and put in it. But uh, it's going to come out what with alcohol be when we're done about uh, about seven percent. So so it should be a nice little brew. And uh, so we heating the water up right now uh, to uh, put the grains in it so we can mash it out. So we'll see how it goes. All right, we're getting ready to put the mash in, put the grain in. You stir it as you put it in. Yeah. And then it's when it starts smelling good. How many pounds of grains there? About 12? Nine. Nine pounds? So we got the uh, grain in and we got to stir it in so it don't get dough balls. It gets like uh, little dough balls if you don't stir it up. Yeah, it's already got color in it. So that's going to be a pretty dark beer then. Well, the whole thing is heated up, the strike water, and now we're mashing in, putting uh, the water into the grains and uh, let it convert. Convert the uh, starches into sugar, and that's done through the heat. Certain temperatures and it will give it different profiles, but that basically that's what it's doing is converting uh, starches into sugars. Well, Silver comes in with 56 tackles, and, and Kirksey comes in with 59 tackles. And yeah, those two guys are just for this stuff. Come off of here. Been, uh, very helpful for them from a linebacker standpoint as well. Yeah, but if I was going to do that, I would have uh, second and three. Bob Dunn would have already had a percentage of that. The fifth to the kid is a little over $100 more. It's getting darker every time uh, <coughs> you run it through, it gets darker and darker. Yeah. Yeah, back in there and get the greens good and saturated. Get the ball. Get the ball. Get the ball. What are you going to do with it? Don't, 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 don't. Ah, shake it. Kill that ball. Kill that ball. Come on. Get the ball. Come on. Bring the ball. Bring the ball. Bring the ball. Kill it. Come here. Give me the ball. Give me the ball. Give me the ball. Come on. Give me the ball. What are you going to do with it? My ball. My ball. My ball. My ball. My ball. No, it's Sue's. <laughs> All right, good job. Right, so we're uh, a picture of the greens down in there. Just uh, putting, what do we got, 160 degree water. Put it down through there and letting it rinse all those grains. Basically, that's what means, sparging means. Sparging means rinsing. So you rinse all the sugars and malts down into the bottom. And uh, after that, you have your work. The work will be ready to uh, uh, put yeast in it and, uh, and ferment it. All right, so that's hot water. Put in a pitcher and just... Just continue to put it in there until uh, you end up with enough volume. You know, you want to look like after five gallons. All right, we got a nice brew going. Smells great. Probably fogging the lens over, but uh, boiling up really good. All right, we're getting ready to the sparge. So pulling the greens out. Let it drain. That's pretty cool. It's got like a little uh, edge around it, and you turn it on the side, and that holds the uh, the greens up in the air. And uh, let the water uh, run off of the uh, sides there. And so it's getting all the, the goodies of the, the wort out of there as it's dripping down. The temperature down here still says um, 229. 
No, 146. So we're getting ready to uh, uh, sparge it now. Otherwise, rinse the grains and get all the uh, goodies, all the uh, uh, caramel malts and stuff out. All right, we added all the spices, and oh my gosh, this smells so good. I wish this was a uh, smell video. That, uh, what all do we put in that? You had uh, cinnamon and uh, nutmeg? Cardamom. 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 Orange peel. Orange peel. And, and ginger. It's like, oh my gosh, it smells so good. This should be a pretty good beer. All right, we're bar barbecuing some wings up here. And uh, we put some, uh, what did we put on them? Uh, this Montreal chicken, Grill Master uh, stuff. We put that on it. And uh, we get a little closer to done. Found this stuff here some time ago. And you can see it, get it here in the light. Um, it's... Uh, Beefo Brady spicy garlic uh, sauce. And this stuff is really good. It's got a spiciness to it, but it's heavily in garlic. So uh, we're gonna put that on when we're done. So uh, this is lunch. Uh, I'll take a Mountain Dew. Okay. Look at there, it's wings. They look delicious. Wings and fries and and we made some beer. Can't ask for better than that. We got a good time over at Todd's today. We got uh, making up a uh, Christmas ale and uh, used his new uh, brew system. This is only the second time he uh, he used it so uh, uh, it worked out really good it uh, you can heat up your strike strike water and it's also a mesh ton built together there and so we built made up a, a five gallon uh, Christmas brew um, the gravities and everything came out really good so uh, uh, everything should come out real real good we had a lot of fun we had some uh, chicken drumsticks that we did on the uh, barbecue there and so they they came out real good so I uh, hope you enjoyed our video of our day of brewing today uh if you enjoyed it give us uh, a thumbs up and uh, uh if you have any comments uh leave your comments below and uh so until next time mm -hmm.